Right now, Wall Street's worried about what happens to the high-flying cloud stocks when enough people get vaccinated and go back to the office. That's why they struggle to get traction even when they report great numbers. Take Viva Systems, the software company that describes itself as the industry cloud for life sciences. Their platform helps drug companies capture clinical trial data, follow regulations, make sales. And this has been a fabulous stock, up 90% since we last saw the CEO in March. At the beginning of the month, Viva reported a substantial top and bottom line beat, excellent guidance. Yet the stock fell 4% on the news. Since then, it's continued to drift lower until a nice gain today, like in many of the cloud stocks. I think digitization is the future. But what happens when we beat COVID and Wall Street loses interest in the life sciences industry, if they will? Let's dig deeper with Peter Gastner. He's the founder and CEO of Viva Systems. And I'm more about his company's doing where it's headed. Mr. Gastner, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me back. All right. So, Peter, I can't resist. We know that you talk about how Viva is accelerating the industry shift to digital, that it is leading uh, the critical life sciences. And then I see when you select Viva customers, well, lo and behold, I've got Moderna, I've got Pfizer, Glaxo. Tell me what you're doing to speed up the end of this pandemic. Uh, yeah, Jim. We're, uh, we're broadly, we make cloud software and that helps these life sciences companies both develop the medicines and bring these medicines to the patients that need them. Now, particularly in the, in, as it relates to Mac vaccines, we have over 30 applications and what they do is uh, help them manufacture these drugs, get these drugs through the clinical development, send them to the regulators and, um, you know, get them out to the patients that need them. So it's really the full spectrum and uh, we're really proud to contribute. All right, so before Viva, how much was done by hand and paper, uh, particularly when you're doing 30,000 person drug trials versus now with Viva? Well, you know, I would say, Jim, we've digitized a lot of things in the commercialization and the clinical development, but actually running these clinical trials, we're still early in that. A lot of this stuff is still done on paper. We're just getting started, but Jim, you talk to me two or three years from now, we'll probably eliminate half of that paper. How about that? All right. Well, that's good because two or three years from now, I like because there's a lot of people who feel that once we've beaten COVID, anything life sciences is going to go down. That is certainly not what I believe. It's not what you believe. No, this is a big industry, Jim. It's a two trillion dollar industry. You know, this is a big industry and it's critical for human health and human Human happiness is really important stuff, right? We're right. we're extending life, we're making life better for people. So no, it's uh, it's gonna it was here long before COVID, and it'll be here long after. Okay, uh, I have seen a more worry about uh, state-sponsored cyber uh, threats than I've seen. I've literally during the whole presidency of President Trump. I have to believe the Russians are trying to get into, or the Chinese are trying to get into every single one of these medications to call them their own without doing any work whatsoever, profiteering, uh, pirating. What can Viva do to stop it? Well, we have to be vigilant, you know, about anybody who, who wants to get into our customer system. So we have a cybersecurity department and we take it really seriously. The main thing, Jim, is we, we have to assume that everybody's trying to get in all the time and keep them out. So that's nothing new. And uh, boy, we take that very seriously. All right. So when I look at some uh, of the companies, I know that some of these companies are shrinking their sales force. Is that uh, does that impact your bottom line? It's true, right? Um, they may. It depends on the type of company. But going forward, we believe there will be some shrinkages, maybe in the neighborhood of 10 percent or so of these sales forces because they're becoming more digital, becoming more efficient. And that's actually a really good thing for Viva because as a technology and data provider, we're providing them a lot of the tools that, that they're what? using to drive efficiency. So when they use more of our technology, yes, they'll, you know, their sales force might go down in size a little bit, but overall, it's a very good thing for Viva when our customers and, become more. And how does Viva work and how do the doctors work, actually, in an era where we don't want to go outside our ecosystem, let alone go to the doctor? I mean, how does that impact Viva? Well, you know, you see it in the doctors and patients first, right? The, the really strong rise in telemedicine. Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing is going on with our customers. Life sciences companies, they're doing remote meetings with the doctors, and we have specialized uh, software to enable them to do that in a compliant way. For example, sign for a drug sample right over the Internet without having to be there. OK, so, Peter, we have a new president coming in. We've got some legislative changes. I have to believe that the new president is going to be a little more restrictive, more regulatory oriented than the one who's going out. How does that impact Viva? 
Uh, we're looking forward to always, you know, partnering with all the administrations around the world, Biden administration for sure. Everybody wants better health care, Jim, better and more efficient health care. And, and we're providing the technology to do that. So I'm very optimistic. Can you make it so that's less expensive for the people we know are hurting in this country? Absolutely. We, we, you know, by digitizing, by making things more efficient, you know, that's the best thing Viva can do. Make, make the overall value prop better. And, uh, you know, then we have to trust the administration and others to, to divide things appropriately. All right. Terrific. Peter, once again, congratulations. A big move since we saw you last. Peter Gassner, CEO of Viva, V-E-E-V. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jim. V-E-E, V-E-E-V. Man, buddy's back here to the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.